guys, what's up? I'm Cassidy and today I want to share ways to raise your vibration permanently. So with this, I want to point out that this does not mean that you will never feel negative emotions, that you'll never be sad or upset again. We're human. We're always going to feel those ways sometimes. But the way I see it, we have kind of a baseline vibration, the way we typically feel on just an average day. And there's bound to be days that we are above this baseline. We're feeling more positive, confident, optimistic, and there's bound to be days where we're feeling less as well. So a little more negative, upset, sad, whatever. And so these are kind of the things that have helped me the most to raise that baseline. So we can always come back to this average level on an average day, we're feeling a certain way. And these things have just raised my permanent vibration or my dominant one, I guess we could say, um, so much. So. Yeah, I wanted to share just some of the things I do and don't think that you have to do every single one of them. I definitely don't even do these every single day. You know, I slack off sometimes. Again, we are all human, we are not perfect. Um, but these things have helped me so much, so I wanted to share them with you and there may be a lot of things that you haven't heard of. So yeah, we're just gonna get into it. Um, I wrote some things, ooh, this is upside down. I wrote some things down. Um, so the first thing, so important is with music and TV and just like media in general not I guess not being surrounded by negative stuff so really being conscious about what you are consuming when it comes to media so shows movies news social media um, even books music that kind of stuff um, so for me personally it's like I will consciously choose shows or YouTube videos that will raise my vibration, that will raise my consciousness and don't just passively watch something, especially if that thing is negative. Um, so watching informational or educational things rather than just random like shows and movies and stuff. Um, and also making sure to really watch like what you're watching <laughs> um, on like the news and that kind of stuff. That is such a low vibrational thing to watch and yes we have to stay informed we're living in this world and we need to you know get caught up with things make sure we're up to date with what's happening on around us but we can consciously decide when and where to do that um, and we don't have to just turn on the news first thing in the morning and bombard our brains with negative awful information and information that we can't control at all so what I like to do is look up specifically what I'm trying to research so right now COVID is going on so I will like look up, okay, what is going on with that right now, um, rather than just turning on the news and kind of being bombarded with other stuff. I don't know why I'm using that word so much. I never use that word, that's really weird. Anyway, um, let's see, the next thing is, yeah, technology, same sort of thing. So technology is so addicting in so many ways. So many apps, especially social media, is literally made to be addicting and so, I mean, you probably know that it's not the healthiest thing to just be addicted to technology and social media and stuff, but there's so many reasons why I'm not gonna get into all of them. Um, but just cutting down on technology, one, because it is such a, um, what do you call it? Like, you are just stimulated at all moments when you're on technology and you're not here in your own body, in your own skin, in the present moment. And so there, there's like a disconnect when you're using technology from your actual present moment. And so it takes you somewhere else, which isn't good to do all the time. It's also like with um, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and that kind of stuff, literally EMF waves are like around us at all times. And so to have like your phone literally right next to your body at all times or up on your face, like you're calling somebody, um, is not healthy for your physical body either. Um, and yeah, social media especially, can just be such a negative place. So meditation, you've probably heard this one before. Um, that's probably the most helpful thing I could tell you. That is the one thing like to raise your vibe is meditate more because again, that makes you be in this moment, be with yourself and be real. It's like an honest, true look at how you're feeling right now. And um, it's a way to just calm your mind. I know for me, my mind tends to just race a lot, especially if I'm not meditating or not doing mindfulness practices or before I started doing all this, it was just racing like crazy and I had anxiety and 
um, just so many things, you know, so many worries and stress. And meditation really helps to just calm you down, ground you. Um, and it's good for, uh, what's the word, like contemplating different things. And, um, you know, if you have something you're struggling with, just to meditate on it and maybe allow answers to come to you more naturally that way is really, really important and helpful. And that I feel like when I make it a thing to meditate a few times a day, and you don't have to do that, it can just start with a few minutes every day or every few days if you're new to meditating. But when I make it a point to meditate multiple times a day, I have a way better day. I feel more high vibrational throughout the whole day. So that one's super important. And the thing that goes along with that is definitely just different mindfulness practices. So um, you can practice mindfulness literally throughout your entire day. So the thing I like to do is with doing like mundane tasks like taking a shower or doing dishes or brushing my teeth or something like that I will try to be as mindful as possible during those moments so noticing um, different things you can see smell hear feel taste during those moments or just recognizing the good in like moments where I normally wouldn't like taking a shower you know I do it every day what's so exciting about it but now I look forward to doing those things because I try to focus on what the water feels like on my body what my shampoo smells like and I am grateful for those things I express my gratitude even just in my mind I'll say wow I'm so thankful for this soap that I have or this running water or um, things like that and that totally raises your vibe and I didn't write this down but I just thought of it gratitude so freaking important gratitude is one of the highest vibrational like feelings you can have and it's so important um it just makes you what's the, what's the quote i'm trying to think of the quote from oprah that's like um when i don't know when you are grateful for what you already have you end up having more i think that's what it is um or you have more to be grateful for something like that and that's so true with the whole law of attraction and everything also um, just what you put out you get back and so if you're grateful you are literally sending out that vibration of gratitude which brings more things back to you to be grateful for and it's just it makes you feel good because you just remember the good things in your life because um, I feel like sometimes we get so caught up in life that we're just like we don't notice things until they're gone and so to notice them before they're gone because everything in life is impermanent um, and nothing's gonna stay but to just to be grateful for them as they are right now in this moment you feel more connected with those things and it it raises your vibe like crazy so it's it's a great thing to do maybe keep a gratitude list I do that every morning write a few things down that you're grateful for or like I said when you're doing some mundane task think about some things you're grateful for in that moment it's so helpful and raises your vibe like crazy getting out in nature that's the next one um, I've noticed that with me, I sometimes don't do this like on an everyday basis. I will kind of slack off in this like, oh, I don't want to go outside today. And I've realized with myself that when I do that, I can feel that kind of baseline vibration lowering. Every day I like don't go outside and don't just look at like trees and flowers and just feel the fresh air. Um, it lowers my vibe. And so that one's super important i feel like sometimes i can be in the worst mood and i literally just sit outside for 10 minutes and maybe like eat some lunch or something and it makes my vibration just rise so much so i definitely recommend that for raising your vibration um eating natural foods that's so important too and I mean, I've always been kind of like sensitive with my diet. Like if I eat really greasy or salty or sugary foods, I tend to like notice right away that my body doesn't feel so good. Um, and so I'm kind of sensitive to that, but I feel like even people that aren't, you will notice things more with your body once you start um, eating more natural foods. If you're not already, you'll start realizing like, oh, these natural healthy foods actually make me feel good and these processed unhealthy foods don't make me feel good and that's not to say you can never have some like nice cookies or like you know a sugary drink or something like that you can 
obviously have that but to be conscious of what you're eating and try to put as natural and raw foods in your body as possible um, is the best way to go and like for me I've been vegan for a few years now and so I'm not here to tell anybody to go vegan but for sure if you can try to incorporate more plant-based foods into your diet um, that will one help your vibration and also it does so many different things obviously for your health for the environment for animals um, there's so many reasons to kind of do that but for this video purposes um, it really does raise your vibration it does because it's natural affirmations that one's a big one um, at first I when I heard about affirmations I was like this is not gonna work like <laughs> this is so stupid um just repeating things that I don't even believe to myself like how is that actually gonna change oh my god it has been the biggest life changer ever um, I have completely changed like certain subconscious beliefs that I like had no idea I had through affirmations and so um, I I do a few different things with affirmations but here's some ideas like I pick three in the morning every single day I pick three different affirmations and I kind of just repeat to myself throughout the day so a few times in the morning at night and throughout the day and that's really helpful or the other thing I do is when I wake up and I'm about to like make my bed or something I will li literally just listen to affirmations on YouTube for like three to five minutes while I make my bed and get ready in the morning so um, and it just starts my day off really well so I suggest using affirmations in the morning especially it just it starts your day off good you know with an already high vibe that just carries on throughout the day so that's really important exercise you probably already know exercise is good for you but it really does get the blood flowing through your body it releases different emotions it releases hormones that make you feel good and it really just does higher your vibe so higher your vibe, raise your vibe, whatever. Y'all know what I mean. Balancing different areas of your life. So this could be health, fitness, social, um, educational. Now I can't think of anything else. Making sure that I am giving attention to all different parts instead of just one. So I know with me, I'm kind of a workaholic sometimes. So like my work or school life would just take over and I would neglect my um, social relationships or I'd neglect my self-care or my fitness or something like that. And that always made me just feel off balance. And so it's really, really good to balance different areas of your life. And I feel like that has been something that has raised my vibe like crazy. Being around high vibe people. So if somebody makes you just feel shitty all the time or you're around them and they're just complaining and negative and whatever, I'm not telling you to just cut them out of your life completely, but really be conscious of when and where you are like allowing them into your life. Like don't let them take energy from you and don't let um, yourself take energy from them because that's how the law of attraction works. It's where what you give out, you get back. And so if somebody else is giving out negative energy, you're kind of absorbing that and vice versa. So, um, that's been a big thing is when I know somebody, you know, I'm going to be around somebody that's kind of a negative person or something like that. Um, I will just limit my time with them or be very aware of who I'm going to be hanging out with. And I don't allow like our energies to kind of mesh in that way. And, you know, if somebody is just making you feel like crap all the time and there's no reason to have them in your life, let it go let them go let that relationship go it is not worth just lowering your vibration all the time by being around somebody like that this kind of goes along with it but just stop complaining that lowers your vibe like crazy like i realized with me this weird thing would happen where i once i started becoming a little more self-aware and that kind of stuff I realized when I was around somebody and there was like an awkward silence or um, I just didn't know what to say, my initial reaction would be to complain about something. I'd be like, oh, the weather is so awful or I've had so much work to do lately or just, I'd complain about something and I realized that over time, like, why am I doing that? That makes me more negative, that's not good. And so don't complain, try to be more aware of when you complain and even like little things like that, like you know complaining about the weather who really cares 
about that. That's not, you know, some, that doesn't make me a negative person because I'm annoyed at like there being rain outside or something. But that shows what your subconscious mind is kind of drawn to um, and what it automatically thinks. And that's so important to recognize because that made me realize, oh, I am negative in certain parts of my life and I do complain about certain things. So to be aware of that and change those little habits are is so important. So I wrote down here also just like being present. That's the same thing about mindfulness and whatever, but having moments of stillness and not constant stimuli from different things. Um, and this again goes along with technology and whatever, but just being able to be with yourself and be still and be present and having a few moments throughout the day to do that is, um, it just brings you back to where you are, who you are, um, and slows down for a little bit. Cause in our society, we are so just like, go, 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 let's do this, do that. And we always feel rushed and like we need to get somewhere else instead of being okay with where we are now. And so I find that very important just to have moments of stillness and um, calm, you know? And then the last thing I wanna say is do what you feel called to do. This is kind of about living from your heart rather than just from your head. Of course we need some logic and reason and you know intellectual thinking to get through this life and to make this life very fulfilling. We, we need those that kind of brain part of this human experience but we should be leading with what we feel is right um, and what we feel called to do. Find a way to connect with what you're doing and lead with your heart more and lead with what you feel and your intuition and that kind of stuff. So um, these were just a few different things. This has just overall made me such a more, more positive, happy, optimistic person. And um, so yeah, I suggest if you haven't tried these things, try them out, let me know how it goes. And I, I hope this helped you. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.